And here we see the polar bear in its natural habitat, where today an aurora of cuddly, waddly bears have gathered to feast. Docile as they may seem, once the meal is finished, they will go forth once more in search of fresh jam and meat. Greetings survivors and friends, Shadow Franks here once again with your weekly Rust Digest and the news this week is that all the new cold biome stuff's now live on the staging Orcs branch. But before we open the fridge and take a look, make sure you're subscribed or still subscribed even and join the Ring a Ding Ding Club to be included in the notification lottery. So first, it's cuddly, it's waddly, it's white in a white environment and it loves a nice jammy treat. Unfortunately, mainly the type of jam you're made of, bipolar bears are soon going to displace their weaker, wimpier cousins in the gold biome, so you'd better be ready. They deal about 10 more damage per swipe to a naked than a regular teddy bear and have nearly 100 extra HP, but they will yield more resources when harvested. Oh, and you may be glad to know that normal bears are being made slightly less aggressive probably from the shame of no longer being the alpha predator. A bare necessity for dodging these alabaster assassins is a good snowmobile, of course, and both models are also now available for testing on the Orcs branch. And if you're not sure about how to access that, I might put a guide in the description for you if I'm feeling generous. As I say, there are two models, a Tomahawk and a Poundland knockoff version, so guess which one you'll be seeing most of. Both seat two people, have 300 health, but like other vehicles, only the pillion can shoot. I can confirm that they work on all surfaces, but despite sounding like a lawnmower, they're crap on grass fastest on snow or sand and not really great on ice. There's small storage on both, they use low grade and can hold up to 500, but if you put a snowball in instead, you can go at almost supersonic speeds. Look mum, no hands! Look mum, no teeth. Probably this also means we'd use some kind of new winter sports bandit shop or something, but what would it be called? The Brass Monkey? Blizzard of Oz? King of the Chill? Icy Dead People? I'd sit here and think of a few more, but it's a slippery slope. The new Arctic bases are here too, but unlike their desert relatives, there will only be one layout. It's still a work in progress and change to subject. So at the moment, there are no puzzles or loot, but there are about 10 scientists hanging around doing science or something. Also, it seems from the commits that these ones spawn with a 50% chance of being able to use healing items. Clever boys. As mentioned before, there are wind turbines that you'll spot from a distance and a radar testy, which is actually seedless, as well as a number of buildings to search and hopefully loot. And all these seem to have a similar feel to the underwater labs, as there is quite a bit of rusty asset flipping going on. Why not? I would. As for whether it'll get its own train tunnel entrance and exactly what sort of things will be special about this monument, we'll have to wait and see. But one thing I notice is that a Poundland snowmobile will spawn in one of the hangars, so that's at least one reason to drift over here. Last week I showed you the new spray can. I've been told it'll be launching in the next patch, but with the reskin ability only, with the actual art attack stuff coming later. But to be honest, the reskinning seems to be what's most popular with you chaps. For instance, instead of with a door doing unlock, remove lock, open door, remove door, go to bench, feel regret over clicking on that link saying you'd want a free glory AK-47 and consequently having all your skins nicked, skin door, place door, add lock, lock. Now it'll just be whip out can, skin. Boom. As for the art stuff later on, there will be some convars for server owners to change how long the paint will last with or without tool cupboard auth. These will be global dot spray no auth duration and global dot spray in auth duration. Crafted hobo barrels can be picked up and repaired again. This has been broken for a while apparently. And there's a new AI dot kill scientists command which does exactly that in a radius. Useful I guess for cinematics. In works in progress, lots of things still happening to the Happis revamp and the brick building branch. Intrigued to see what that turns out like. Stay tuned to stay informed on this and anything else that shuffles along between now and the end of the month. And if you like this vid, please give the algorithm a little nudge in the right direction by liking and commenting below. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Discord and my Steam group and support me here with a channel membership on Patreon or by buying my merch. Links below. I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay nasty. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk. In search of fresh jam.
and me.